we went to one of the biggest card shows in the entire country. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything we picked up at the Chantilly Card Show. Try to catch me howling at the moon. That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? Oh my goodness. This is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever at a card show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, we are back to highlight all of the pickups from the Chantilly Card Show out in Virginia. And if you guys have not seen, the vlog is down below, so make sure you guys check that out. Uh, we had a pretty good uh, pretty good pickups, pretty good amount of pickups, I should say. Um, did pretty well for the time that we were there. Like I mentioned in the, in the video, uh, the vlog originally, had flight delays, got... So I was supposed to take off at like 10, get there at 11, got delayed till 10.30, then got delayed till 11, and then got delayed till like 11.15. Then we get on the plane and there was another mechanical thing. So we didn't take off till like 12, didn't get there till after 1. Got to the show, I think at like 1.45 when we wanted to be there at like 11.45 and had to leave at like 7 to get to the airport. Uh, so just didn't have quite the time, but still had a good amount of pickups for <clears throat> even the few hours we were there. So let me show you guys some of what we picked up. Uh, probably one of my favorite pickups from the weekend, uh, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Topps Magic, like a Chrome Refractor Auto, uh, number to five from 2010 Topps Magic. Uh, I paid, I think, like 600 bucks for this. I just think that's that that was a pretty good deal. I'm going to add this to the PC, but, you know, the, the Manning name in football just means so much. It's probably the name in football um, in terms of, like, <clears throat> family. I mean, you're going to have, what, three Hall of Famers from that family. So, dual auto out of five, I thought was kind of cool. Uh, Kirk Cousins auto out of 35, like I said in the video. I wasn't expecting this to be the first card I picked up, but Captain Kirk, I guess. Uh, then another one, again, as a Patriots fan, this one kind of hurts, but I think it's really cool and unique. Eli Strahan dual auto uh, from the Super Bowl from Black. Again, just a, another unique card. Uh, these were in a three for... 50 box. I, I realized in the video, I didn't say the price. Um, I just said, Hey, I'll take this one, this one, this one. Um, so you guys didn't know the price, but <clears throat> he had them at like $20 a piece or three for 50. So you got the archives auto of Dawson, the little throwback on card. I know that set can do well in football and uh, baseball. So I kind of got that picked up another Andre Dawson. This was had the rookie of the year, 77 inscription out of a hundred. And then Chris Mortensen, I've picked up a bunch of these over the years. Uh, Phelps is in this set. <clears throat> Regis Philbin is in this set. Uh, there's a bunch of different names in this set. Um, but it's a really cool one from like, oh yeah, 04 um, fans of the game. There's a lot of different random unique people in here. And I've enjoyed this. So as time goes on, I've picked up more and more of these. I think I own a few Mortensons now. I think uh, Kuiper's in it. Um, so a bunch of different guys, but I do like that set. So I got those. Uh, Ronnie Lott, True Prism Gold. Thought that was a pretty good deal for 40 bucks. I uh, got these from my guy Var. Got a Stroud PMG uh, out of 100. Hard to see, but again, number to 100. I'll probably keep that in the PC. I love the uh, PMGs. And then a couple Stroud RPAs, uh, 4 of 49 and 15 of 49. So a couple uh, CJ RPAs. Playing well so far. Hopefully that continues. Uh, another CJ Auto from Instant, number to 99. Or, I'm sorry, Tops Now. Number 99, uh, Josh Downs, white mosaic auto at 25. He's actually not looked too bad. Um, he might end up being the number one by the end of the year in Indy. I mean, if he's not already, I saw Michael Pivot only had like two catches and was unhappy with his role. So we'll see, but thought that was a nice pickup. Another one for my friend Kayla, uh, 35 to 75 AP. This is like second year, I think. Oh, nine. So this would be third year, <clears throat> third year AP exquisite uh, game use patch. Uh, Bancaro, Hoops Auto. I was surprised this doesn't do more, honestly. Um, I feel like this is a solid buy going into the season, so had to pick that up. Uh, this was a gift. A little Chris Beanie Wells SPX jersey at a 149 uh, from 2009 SPX. Buckeye, great. Uh, another one. This was one that somebody actually gave us to give to a kid. Um, didn't see any kids at the show that mentioned Pokemon, so that'll likely be a giveaway at a future trade night. Uh, and then another gift as well. Dwayne Haskins, uh, my guy. Mosaic Peacock, uh, second year. I don't think I have this one. But love the Mosaic uh, choice parallels. Uh, moving on, some more Bancaro. 
Uh, I got a fresh paint auto, number 21 of 25. Uh, Josh Jacobs, patch auto out of 25. Uh, Larry Bird, prism auto from 13-14, I think. Yeah, 13-14. So that's Giannis's rookie year. Larry Bird auto, just can't go wrong with uh, a legend like that. Amonra, RPA at a 199. This guy really moves. We have a lot of success moving Amonra. He's, he's pretty popular. Probably, what, a top 10 receiver? I don't know if he's top 5 yet, but he's good. Yeah, I think he's really good. So, again, a lot of liquidity with Amonra. Every time we pick him up, it seems like there's always somebody after his stuff. Thought this was a pretty good deal. Gail Sayers Auto, 37 from Timeless 2011. 65 bucks sticker. I thought that was good. A couple more Josh Jacobs. This one's out of 35. This one's out of 25. I think this red etch here is the FOTL parallel. And then I think this is just a normal parallel. So I think this is the FOTL bonus. But 10 of 25 and 18 of 35. So a couple more Josh Jacobs. Uh, Manning Patch Auto. A legendary uh, from Optic. 23 of 25 from 2021 Optic Football. Just, again, can't go wrong with paint Manning stuff. Uh, Kobe Destiny Refractor from 97 Tops Chrome. Uh, so second year Kobe Refractor, Tops Chrome graded, pretty uh, pretty easy move. And then uh, B-Doc and Donovan McNabb, dual booklet out of 49 from Limited. Uh, Eagle stuff always seems to move, and this wasn't super, super expensive. Uh, moving on, some, this looks like some stuff from Logan. Uh, I got a Drake London patch auto at a 35. Uh, Jalen Carter, this guy sells so well for us. Numbered at a 300, plates and patches. Uh, Singletary, patch auto, cool patch, numbered at a 10. Uh, not very expensive, actually. Uh, Jameer Gibbs, patch auto at 75. Finally got a touchdown. Uh, I know this this weekend as I have him in fantasy. Finally scored. Uh, drafted this dude, what, 12th overall and hasn't done anything. I just kept waiting and finally got a touchdown this weekend. So hopefully there's more to come. Uh, Bryce Young, RPA from Inception at a 199. Uh, Jay Jettas, rookie auto at a... Uh, Chronicles Draft. This is the Spectra Auto out of seven. Uh, Marv, Big Kahuna. Again, easy move in Columbus. Best receiver in America. Uh, Jay Jettas, Patch Auto, one of five from Flawless Collegiate. Tyree Kill. Uh, again, I talked. To, we talked about liquidity and guys that sell and buying guys that sell so we have stuff that people actually want. This guy is near the top of the list. Um, seems like Tua just chucks the ball up and he finds it and runs faster than everybody else and scores. I mean, the guy's got to figure it out. Just makes you wonder what would have happened if he would have stayed with the Chiefs. You know, the Chiefs are already one of the best teams in the league. Could you imagine if they still had this guy? So, hard to believe, but Tyreek 101 NT Auto. Uh, 101 Black Shimmer from uh, Bowman Chrome University 2023. I haven't seen a lot of the 101s pop up so far, so I thought this was cool. I know I've been actively looking for the Ohio State 101s from Bowman Chrome University, so if you see any, definitely know. Uh, the true rookie autos or uh, rookies, just like the base parallel, that stuff with the ones I'm after, something like this. Um, but mostly the supers. This is a black shimmer, but I'll be after uh, mostly the 101 supers. I actually have one of these that was numbered at a 25, so this is an upgrade. The patches are much cooler. Um, I have 12 of 25 with some cool patches, but the patches on this were way nicer. So we'll likely end up moving my out of 25, which is Brady's jersey number. I thought that was kind of a... I know it doesn't matter on that card because Brady's not on it, but I thought it was a unique thing considering Brady was their QB. Um, so I'll probably end up keeping this one instead with the logo patches on it. So probably a PC card there. Uh, George Pickens, I like the gold on, you know, the color match. He got a gold auto uh, at a 50 PSA 10. Uh, Ronnie Lott auto, PSA 10 prism again. More, uh, more Ronnie Lott. And then Chris Olave, um, terrible timing on this. Got arrested for speeding, 70 to 35. Uh, met Chris before, very nice guy. So hopefully he can get it figured out and um, you know just get back to playing football. But did get an Olave 10-10 uh, auto from Clearly. Uh, more pickups here. I think there's a couple of these. It might be out of order, but I think there's like three or four of them. I thought, uh, but a couple Hutchinson autos uh, out of 50 from Wild Card. Uh, Tajay Spears auto. I just have this feeling that Tajay Spears is going to, I think they're going to move on from Henry or something's going to ha like, not, not get injured, but like, I just think the timeshare will be different. I think a couple weeks ago they were a 50, 50 split. Um, I think this kid's good. Um, and I think Derrick Henry has been there seven, eight years. Uh, I think time is ticking on that and, uh, we'll see what happens with the Titans, but for 10, eight bucks, I was like, I'll pick it up and see what happens. Uh, Dylan Gabriel, again, top five in Heisman voting. 
to a drip. Those are a short print from Prestige. Uh, Garrett Wilson jersey from Prism for five bucks. Uh, this is the teal velocity. So there's a green velocity and there's a teal velocity. The teal velocity, to my understanding, is much, much shorter print. Uh, Parsons is a top three top three defender in the league. I would say it's Miles, uh, TJ, TJ Watt, and Parsons. Uh, again, a couple other guys up there, and Donald's dominated for so long. Mac looks good. So a couple others, but Parsons is definitely in that conversation. Uh, Jerry Rice on card auto at a 15. Just can't go wrong with, with the greatest wide receiver ever. Uh, Debo, 101 patch auto. Niner stuff moves like Ronnie Lott, Jerry Rice, Debo, Purdy, Kittle, Bosa. Like, they sell. They're good. Um, they lost two in a row I, as soon as I say that. But um, they're good, and I think a lot of people collect their stuff. Uh, Randall Cunningham, patch auto from Panini 1. More Chris Olave. This one was too sick, though. Sick, sick patch auto out of 25. Uh, AP, auto numbered out of 25. 25 of 25, one of my favorite running backs ever. Um, dude was different for sure. Akira Tozawa, not sure much about him, but a one-on-one -on -one black select from WWE. I always say WWE has the most loyal fan base. Um, it's when we buy it, somebody always wants it. There's real collectors there. I believe it's, again, the most collector-based market in the hobby. Um, I said that for a while. So thought that was a cool pickup. Uh, Tajay Patch Auto at 75 again. Just think at some point he'll pay, and that was probably 20 bucks. So, another one, cheap, just a lead auto. Uh, Purdy Montage, <clears throat> Jay Jetta's tricolor numbered out of 249. Um, ben Caro, Luck of the Lottery, nine. Picked up a couple of him. I think the rest are in here. Um, but, and then a Captain America parallel. I thought it just was a cool looking card, so we'll probably just keep that in the PC. Um, I want these to fall. All right, a little bit more here. Got a Cedric Tillman State Pride. Again, I talked about it before in the video, but uh, Tennessee stuff just always seems to sell. Uh, Drew Brees, Topps Gallery rookie. Uh, Chris Carter jersey, Buckeye legend. Jaden Reed for the Packers. Started out a little hot. I don't know what he's done lately, but those are cheap. Trayvon Diggs jersey. Uh, Jamal Charles, Saturday Stars auto. Rasheed Rice, 101 plate. That's from, uh, from Leaf. Uh, Petit Friere, Ohio State lineman, numbered 105. Doesn't have a lot, so probably just a cheap, uh, cheap PC pickup. Uh, Tony Pollard, Aaron Jones, numbered in 99. My guy, Brian Hartline, uh, present parallel out of 49 for the PC. Uh, more Jaden Reed. This one's 4 of 5. Meek Mill Auto. Thought that was kind of cool. 5 of 10. Um, I think that might be his, one of his first pack pulled autographs. Um, Jaden Reed, 1 of 1 auto from Wildcard. Uh, Malik Cunningham. There's couple of these in here it's so funny Patriots sign him off the practice squad sign him to a three-year deal and then like cut him so I uh, uh, frustrated pinch uh, frustrated Patriots fan but got those in case he looked good in preseason I don't know why we're, we don't give him any opportunity but Mac Jones goes out and beat the Bills so I don't know frustrating team uh Jalen Milrow again the starter for Alabama couple more Amonras just again one of those guys that's pretty liquid Nathan Rourke, CFL MVP, 4 of 15. That will be a gift, so it won't be for sale. Uh, Jane Daniels auto for LSU. Puka, another Dylan Gabriel ice auto. That one is numbered 9 of 30. Uh, Josh Cribbs, Pro Bowl jersey, it looks like. Uh, Nico Collins auto. Chris Carter jersey, another Nathan Rourke auto. Uh, AJ Epinesa uh, auto. Uh, Luke Musgrave, Cedric Tillman, 1 of 3. Low numbered, and then a Devin Brown. Pick this up. Gets hurt the very next day on a goal line carry play against Penn State in the red zone. Um, so hopefully makes a full recovery, but the backup for Ohio State. And then another big stack to end it here. Shout out to those of you that uh, that made it this far. Make sure if you guys are not following already, click that follow button down there. And again, leave a thumbs up on the video. Let's other collectors know that you enjoyed this. So if you don't mind and you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate it. All right, wrapping it up here. One of the stars on the Steelers' defense, numbered to 10. Uh, XRC out of four, Jackson Smith and Jigba will likely redeem that one. Uh, there's the other Palo I was talking about. Numbered out of 75, rookie patch auto. Uh, Sauce out of 99, always sells, really liquid. I thought this is kind of cool with Christmas and the holidays coming up. Um, Snowman holiday parallel from Bowman 2017, numbered to 10. Somebody will definitely want this. This is definitely something someone would collect. It's red, kind of the Christmas or holiday spirit. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, just a cheap Monra jersey. Brady numbered to $3.99. Seems like a deal at 5 bucks. 
uh, Hertz jersey, Ritter and Michael Vick dual jersey, uh, another Jalen Hurts jersey numbered at 99, uh, two a jersey at a 150. I might not be his number one supporter, but he sells, so I thought that was a, a good deal. Jamar Chase jersey for three bucks is a no-brainer. Um, so definitely some really good value box plays right there. Uh, and then I got a couple uh, cheap F1 slabs. I think there's one more. Yep, it's right here. Uh, Refractor Lewis, first year, PSA 9. Kimmy Orange, PSA 10, 1 of 25. I cannot believe. Again, I got them all for uh, 20 bucks. I just couldn't believe this is only $20. I haven't even looked to see what it's worth. It could be worth 100 could be worth 5 um, But I thought that was a no-brainer at 20 uh, Lewis, 9. And then a Mercedes AMG uh with Botas and Lewis numbered 25 of 50. So this felt really good about those at 21 or $20 a piece as an F1 guy. Uh, Tyree Kill, this is the, I actually have a filler. This is the glass card. So like it's kind of hard to see, but Tyree Kill glass. Those typically grade really, really well. So I always love the glass cards. Uh, David Beckham auto at a 14. I will say, uh, again, this is obviously not a paid plug. Just uh, if you like documentaries, the David Beckham documentary, was 10 out of 10. It was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. It's four parts. Um, I thought it was really good. My wife and I sat down and watched it, and I thought it was really, really good. I was young when Beckham came in, uh, or when started playing and, and getting big, um, so I don't remember that really the hysteria of it, but, you know, it was dating and then married a, a Spice Girl, just how big it was, just kind of crazy to, to see it. So um, think of, like, you know, we, we see the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift thing and what that does. Like, think of that on steroids. If the best player in, you know, England and then you've got uh, someone like the Spice Girls. I mean, like Taylor Swift, like that big. Um, like, I guess it would be like, what, Brady or LeBron dating a, dating a Spice Girl. Maybe I'm crazy there. Maybe it's some of my football or soccer friends can uh, correct me on that. But I thought it was cool. So picked up one of those. I, I did like that. And then the Yuki. Um, I think I... I don't know where the other 101 is. I picked it up at the National. It was a dual. It was much cheaper than this. Um, I think I paid 700 for that, and I think I paid 1200, 1250 ish for this. Um, so, uh, Ricky, Ricky Dynasty of Yuki. Yuki's got an international following. He's a, he's good. He's not on one of the you know the, the big teams. So I don't see him winning uh, any races anytime soon. Um, I just don't think he's going to get it done in <clears throat> an Alphatari car. But uh, we'll see. Either way. I love adding the unique F1 stuff to the PC. So I uh, thought that was fun and it was perfect timing uh, with the Austin race that weekend as well. So yeah, again, that's about six hours worth, five and a half hours worth of, uh, of pickups, probably about five hours worth because we got there right before two and we left at uh, seven. So about five hours worth of pickup. We were able to still do a good amount of damage, uh, spend a good amount of money again at, at, at that card show at one, the bigger shows like the CSA show in Virginia. Um, it's one of the best in the country, so there's a lot of opportunities to make plays. Unfortunately, I didn't have quite quite the time. Did get to go back to watch Ohio State, Penn State, which totally worth it. Best game I've ever been to, for sure, but um, really a, a good, productive show. Felt good about what we bought, so hopefully can be back on the road soon. Hopefully some more card shows in the future, uh, but stay tuned. Regardless, plenty of more cool card content coming very soon, uh, but for now, guys, that's all I've got. Peace, guys.